You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Guys, we have made a uh, quite a few videos on the sports channel in early early this year. I almost said 2022, but uh, 2023 about these athletes just all of a sudden they just dying suddenly. And for a while there, it seemed like we were making what about one every day. It seemed almost. Oh yeah, absolutely. For a absolutely. while, uh, not so yeah. much now. But this one here, usually it was in a range of like a uh, thirteen to twenty-five. This one is different here. This person is forty-five years old. He actually was competing in a um, in a marathon. And now, 45-year-old marathon runner dies suddenly on way home after a competing, completing race. 45 years old. Wow. That's his uh, picture right there. And usually these marathon runners, man, they're going to be in, like, really good shape. I could never do a marathon. I would never want to do that. 26 miles, half marathon, 13 miles. Nah, I'm good. I don't think my knees can actually shape. handle it. You. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Did you never go through a phase where you did any running? Uh, when I like, was when I was in the Navy, that was the most running I ever did. Okay, okay. So, but w- but when we actually when we actually um were exercising, when I was in my school, three miles. That was it. Okay, okay. So when I was when I was powerlifting and bodybuilding, I went through a weird phase where for about a year, I got this long distance running bug. And I ran, I would run five or six miles seven days a week. And I did it for mm, probably a little over a year, maybe. And there were times where, yeah, I ran over 10 miles probably. Wow. Uh, well, I know for I know for a fact, I remember I ran 13 miles one day, which was a half marathon. That's um, crazy. I never competed, but... And I did it, as you can imagine, to try to get in better shape. Ironically enough, uh, I didn't achieve as good a conditioning from doing that as I, I did from just like running running much shorter, much more intense like sprints combined with low carb diets. Right. You know. Uh, but. Yeah, I had a little. I had. A, I went through a little long running phase there for a while. Um, hmm. that's crazy. A very yeah. experienced runner, it says. So let's check it out. Okay, it says here, forty-five year old man who has been described as a very experienced runner died suddenly on his way home after completing the London Marathon on Sunday. Steve Shanks, a veteran of many marathons tragically passed away while returning to his home in Notting- Nottinghamshire after completing the 26.2 mile race. So far, no cause of death has been determined. It's like that in it, just about er- every single one of these cases here. Uh, the social media account for the London Marathon broke the news of the experienced runner's death, writing, quote, everyone at London Marathon events was deeply saddened to hear about the sudden death of Steve Shanks as he traveled home on Sunday, the 23rd of April, after taking part in the London Marathon. Uh, All involved in the organization of the London Marathon would like to express sincere condolences to Steve's wife, Jess, his family, and friends. In a statement per the Daily Star, Mr. Shank's wife, Jess, lamented the loss of her wonderful husband, saying that his death was sudden and out of the blue. He was returning home, having spent the day participating in the London Marathon. As you can imagine, I'm absolutely in shock and devastated. I will let you know about the funeral arrangements when they are finalized. So there you have it right there. They actually have a... um. A fundraising page there as well. Uh, another case, man, where, and I believe this is the second one, the second story we actually covered where it was actually a marathon runner. Um, but the last one I did was, uh, I believe the guy was like 26 years old. 
he actually crossed the finish line and then he had like dropped and that was it for him. We're we're running a gauntlet of athletes that have randomly dropped and died suddenly. Um and it's not just been athletes. I mean, I did a story maybe two months ago about a mother of three who was 26 years old and she randomly dropped dead of a cardiac arrest at 26 years old. Um, we had Ty Wells. He was a, uh, a NC two, a swimmer from Arizona university had swam for the wildcats. Yeah. We had uh we had a tenant a Georgia Bulldog former Georgia Bulldog tennis player, I think she was. Or was she a swimmer? Uh one of the two, I think she was thirty one or thirty two, she dropped dead. Uh same kind of thing. We're talking all cardiac arrest for the most part. There's been a couple of random strokes in there. Um oh, there was a guy in Vegas who was a um a professional, a tennis pro, uh, one of these like club tennis pros, you know, that works yeah, with people yeah. that are members. And he was also a bodybuilder. He died at like 45 and he was in unbelievable shape and, and he dropped dead. And yeah. I think it's, you know, somebody asked me, had we created a, a playlist and I guess it, maybe it's something we should create to be able to chronicle all these because there's that many at this point where we probably got like 20, 30 videos. Yeah. I would guess we got somewhere YouTube. between 20 or 30 videos. I cannot remember this happening in the past. Do you remember since no. we started, we started the channel or the channel blew up. Let's just say that July, 2020 is when it started to blow up. I can tell you, I know for a fact, we had not made a die suddenly or even been aware of it. We didn't make a die suddenly video to after, after DeMar the, Hamlin collapse. Yeah. Yeah. Which raised a lot of eyebrows and got a lot of, um, let's just put it this way. Everybody's curiosity heightened greatly as to what was going on, why a 24 year old would just drop. They're saying he took a hit to the chest. Okay. I mean, if, if that's what you're saying, fine. But it certainly made us aware so we would start monitoring the situation and say, mm, this doesn't, a lot of these kind of things don't feel normal. What's really going on here? You know, and there's, we're not uh, alone. We're not alone, judging by the millions of people that have watched those videos. Uh, people are very aware of, they want to know when an athlete drops because an athlete's yeah. going to be in phenomenal condition. This is not supposed to be happening to a marathon runner. Right. You know? Right. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.